G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines, and we are just south of Bundaberg doing some CJ boat tests today, and I've got Gary Fitzgerald from CJ here. Fitzy, a brand new model from CJ. Tell us all about it. This is the all-new Titan, which is a brand new model for us. Uh, we're pretty excited about this one, Steve. So the Titan is built on our Samurai hull, so that's a proven hull. It's a new deck configuration. So we took on feedback from uh, the general public and our dealer network and they said get us a walk around, get us a, a centre cabin and uh, Troy in R&D has worked really hard and uh, this, is, this is what we've come up with. Yeah, it looks like a real bulletproof boat. It's high-sided, it's high-gunnelled on the inside, so, you know, no problems taking it out of the ocean. But it does have that room underneath the cabin there to, to stretch out. I notice the bunks aren't, aren't super long. Do you have a solution for that? Yeah, we do. So you'll see, you might see in the back of the shot, and I'm sure you'll show it later, we've got the seat boxes there that the, the, the seats sit on, but we've now got an extension for the bunks to go out. So they're a bunk extension. So that allows you, you've kind of got, you drop them in, and then you've got a full length, full length bunk in there to uh, lay down on. Now, the, the console and helm itself keeps you out of the weather. Tell us about this, uh, the crazy looking, uh, the sun visor. It looks like the end of my baseball cap here. Yeah, it does. Well, you know, uh, it keeps the, the wind off, you know, the, the weather off, the sun and the rain. Um, helps to channel that wind around as, as well. Stylish look and uh, it, it folds down nicely. So, you know, it's a pretty high boat uh, sitting on top of a trailer. Might want to fold that down to get it under a garage. Yeah, if we have a carport or something built up, it may help you get under because I, I suppose you drop maybe a couple of feet when you fold that over. Yeah, yeah, and it could be handy, like if you're towing long distances, maybe going up the up the top end, help help uh, improve your fuel economy or something. Now let's talk about towing. Uh, what sort of trailer is, is this supplied on, and what sort of vehicle do you need to tow it? Oh, look, it's definitely in a, you need a tandem trailer on this one. Um, I backed it in before, and it just towed beautiful coming out down here to uh, Elliot Heads. Um, uh, you can you got options of a you got your steel trailer galvanised. Uh, you can go an I beam. Uh, alloy or you can go a c-section galvanized trailer as well so you've got some options there now tell us about the cj trailer story i know that you offer an increased warranty if you run the cj boat on the cj trailer does that apply for the titans yeah it does so cj boat as you said cj boat on a cj trailer we throw an extra 12 months warranty free um, in in there just because we've we've uh, married those up and we know it's going to be a, a working combination now this is powered by Yamaha's F-150 four-stroke outboard. Let's have a chat to Will Lee about the features of that rig. So Will, this boat powered by that F-150, this is a real workhorse and perfectly suited to something like this which is going to see a lot of hours on the ocean. Yeah, it's right at home on this boat behind us, Steve. This, uh, this engine's going to give you enough power if it was you and your mate crossing a coastal bar or if you had the entire family on the boat for the day. Regardless of how you weight this boat up, it's got enough power at the back there to push it along nicely. So, And if you, uh, if you wanted to take advantage of Yamaha's new Hellmaster EX, you could buy the digital version of that. It would work on this boat? Yeah, exactly right. This boat behind us is rated to 150. We've got a mechanical controlled option, which is the engine that we're running today, which is a 2.7 litre platform. And then we've also got a digital electronic controlled engine in the range as well, which is a 2.8 litre. That's it. And if you want to have your boat set up with the ultimate fishing option, check that out at your local Yamaha dealer. But of course, we don't believe anything the manufacturers say at Fishing Monthly Magazines. Let's take this Titan for a ride and come back to you with some performance statistics.
Well, there you go. You're one of the first to see the brand new CJ Titan out on the water. This is a 590, this model, but there are a couple of other sizes in the range that you can check out at your local CJ dealer. Uh, fitted with that F150 Yamaha, this thing was an absolute beast out on the water. We got it out in some reasonably rough water today, and you would have seen in the cutaways that uh, the nasty stuff out the front of the river here. Um, there is always a comfortable speed in these boats. In this case, it was between 20 and 30 kilometres an hour. You can plough into that sea and stay reasonably dry. Right. Quartering, uh, it did throw up a little bit of spray and you can get some spray in between the windscreen and that little hard top there. So uh, if I was to buy this boat, I'd probably put some clears around the outside and who knows, you might see that as an option in future CJ boats. Um, really love the fact that you can mount some really, really big electronics in the console of this boat. Our electronics are so big nowadays, you can mount them flush mount in the console, you can still see them from the back of the boat. This boat's got quite an extensive cockpit there. Um, it has an optional bait board at the back, but there is still plenty of fishing room for two or three your mates and yourself to get out into the blue water. Performance wise the most the best economy was at 3500 rpm where this boat did 41 kilometers an hour at 2.1 kilometers per liter of fuel burn. Now match that with a 200 liter fuel tank and you've got just over 400 kilometers of theoretical range. Want to put the hammers down to get over a bar or to get there quickly? You're going to pay. It drops to 1.2 kilometers per liter of economy and that's doing 76 kilometers an hour at 5900 rpm. Um, um, look, we, you can see in the cutaways here that the uh, the bunk extensions are needed if you wanted to sleep in this uh, in this walk around style console. But remember that every time you have a walk around and this walk around, you can actually walk around it. It's not a shuffle around; it's a proper walk around. You're going to lose that cabin space. So I think CJ have hit a great balance here between accessibility to the front deck and uh, comfort on the inside. Uh, and I know if you take your kids and wife out as a family boat, they're going to have somewhere to sit out of the shade. They can get in and out of the boat quite easily with that standard fold down stairs and uh, transom door um, and you're going to have no problems catching fish or having fun with the family on this boat. Uh, remember it is a pretty big boat, it probably won't fit in a standard garage even with that hard top fold down so make sure you do your research to make sure you can store your pride and joy in the right place. This test boat was supplied by Bundaberg Marineland uh, and as tested just under $70,000 but that figure will go up if you start adding sounders, uh, min coders and all sorts of things to make this your ideal fishing boat. For more information on this or any of the new CJ boats visit www.cjboats.com.au or on Facebook go and like CJ Boats to keep up with their social media activity.